Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one today. One of my favorite videos to film, purchase or pass. And it's Friday night for me. I usually film this over a couple of days and it has been a busy week. So I am really excited to sit down with you all and really look at these new makeup releases for the very first time. So you can see my reaction and my initial thoughts. If that sounds good to you, keep on watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you wanna hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. First of all, I have decided that I need a whole total reset with life, but you know, do y'all ever feel like sometimes you don't like your look? Let me know. <laughs> I didn't even plan on sharing this, but like I text Tyrone today, like I was looking at myself and I'm like, I feel like I look dumpy when I go to work. I feel like I don't have a lot of choices for clothes. And a lot of this is stemming off of COVID and being virtual and wearing leggings all the time. And then last year I did buy a few pieces and then my style has changed a bit. So like I actually got rid of three big like garbage bags of clothes today. I took them to Value Village and some of them, a lot of them were these Fashion Nova jeans. Now there's nothing wrong with Fashion Nova. I like Fashion Nova. I still buy stuff from Fashion Nova. It's just that some of the styles of the jeans I'm not into anymore. So I like jeans with rips and holes. Some of these rips and holes were just too holy. I mean, like, I don't know if I'm going to go anywhere with my whole thigh out anymore. On top of that, I was going back into my closet to parts that I have to be on my tippy toes to reach because there's other stuff blocking it. And I was questioning where was I going with these types of outfits that I was seeing in my wardrobe. So like there was a suspender set with suspenders, but, and the bottom was fine. They were like baggy, like pants with a little white stripe, cool. The slit came all the way up my thigh. Where was I going? Where was I going with a leotard with a cape coming off the back? I was going nowhere. This is prior to COVID, but I was going nowhere. It was the idea. It's the same thing with the makeup where it pains me to get rid of things that I haven't worn. I'm not wearing that. I'm not interested in wearing it, even if I could fit it, which I can't, cause pounds. But I'm not wearing that if I could, so it had to go. So the three bags that I got rid of, I was happy. Like, I mean, I had these jeans, they were cool, but the little artificial paint splatters, I was like, am, am I going to wear this? The answer is no. And I'm gonna get rid of the little money stack emoji with the wings. I'm gonna stop uh, seeing that because I, that stops me from getting rid of things. But what I need to start seeing more of is space. I need to start seeing empty space in my presence. That's what I need to see. And I'm not seeing it. So that had to go. I am going to continue going through things, but I just wanted to share that. So anyway, the, the reason that I was saying that I don't like my look is because first of all, so when I got my hair done, you know, I had the two little puff balls and those were cool for a while. But then after a while, I don't like them anymore. I like my hair to be down. You, you got about two weeks and, and that's all we've got. So what I did try to do is um, I took the puff balls out, but they're a little all like my hair is kind of like, um, because it was in the puff ball, the, locks were going all kinds of ways. So I decided to two strand twist them like the rest of them, the ones at the bottom, and I'm hoping they'll lay down. So I put them in these little two ponytail type situation with a white rubber band. I could have done better with that and it's fine. And I took a walk and I'm, I'm cool. So I want my style, my clothes to represent who I am. And sometimes I feel like they don't my dress a lot of times I'm wearing like sports bras and stuff because even though I'm not working out the way I want to be I'm in the mentality of that I want to work out more so I put the clothes on 
I did take a walk today and I had on a hoodie and it's like one of those sauna ones. So let me show y'all, it's right here. I didn't ask for this, but I'm giving it, cause this might be helping somebody who's helping me to talk about it. It's got this in it. Cause I, I, I wanna lose about 15 pounds, I do. But I need the weight to come off of the areas where I want it to come off. And if anybody knows that trick, let me know. I don't know. So my style has become more of a gym teacher. Now I do consider myself a bit of a sporty spice. Like my favorite brands are like Adidas, Converse, but I have a way of dressing them up and you know, just making it look cute and girly. The cute and girly part has left me. And now I'm just gym teacher. So I'm trying to get this back because I, I feel like I have more of a bohemian type style with the sporty spice. I don't know how that's gonna look, but I need to get that back. I need to get some earrings. I need to paint my nails. I need to paint my toes. I was just like, what are we doing with ourselves? I had to share that because it was on my mind and my heart and maybe other people go through this, but y'all know I've gone through kind of an eyeshadow type change, a makeup change. I mean, everything's changing and I don't, is this what happens when you turn 40 or 41 or close to 42? You let me know. Cause I don't know. Cause this is the first time I'm doing it. It's the first time I'm this age. And this is not what y'all came for. So I probably have to put timestamps, but Makeup therapy is what this channel is all about. And, and that's where I'm at. Now where I'm also at is starting to get excited for the Sephora sale and, and everything that's happening here in these makeup streets. And we're going to talk about it. I've had a busy week. We had teacher parent conferences and that that's it. But that was enough to make my week busy as well as the boys are in their second week of karate and just have some overall things I want to tighten up here as a mom, especially with my Marky. That's a whole nother video. Anyway, let me tell y'all about this little look that I put on because I haven't showered yet. I came home and I wiped my makeup off before I took my walk. And then I was like, I'm just going to do a little fresh face. No eyeshadow or anything like that. No, no eye stuff. So I did put on the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Foundation with the Pat McGrath Concealer Chantecaille Powder as per usual. Oh, wait, I was about to, I was about to drop the mic. There's nothing to drop. I have on the Chanel Le Beige Bronzing Cream in Tan Deep Bronze, but no. Can we talk about the blush here? Can y'all see the blush? Because the blush is blushing. And this is the Dior Holiday Blush. It is called Galactic Red. It is so pretty. And I did, it's got a little sheen to it. Look at that color, y'all. This almost reminds me of At Night by Hourglass. And that's one of my favorite red blushes. But look, look at that. So I did buy one of the quints. I got Galactic and I'm thinking about selling. I don't, just been so on and off about using it. That's neither here nor there. The lip, the lip. Nelly Cherry by Gucci. One of, I think the most overhyped liquid lipsticks, but I love this color. Now I did get this on sale. I, I would recommend on sale, you know, but even on sale it's still pricey, but it's Gucci. So, but you know, y'all know, I do not like red lipstick like that, but like Velvet Cinnabar, one of my favorites uh, from Lisa Eldridge. This is probably number two, cause I done dropped my mic. It's not doing too much, but it's doing just enough. You see what I'm saying? All right, let's get into what y'all came for, which are the new makeup releases. Of course, we're starting with makeup release or radar official. Y'all, I really want to help get her subscribers back up because I'm thinking like, I wonder if they're wondering like what happened to her page, you know, or like, cause the word is not spreading as fast as I need to spread. But yes, I will put makeup release radars new page in the description box so you can get the word out because she has all the tea in the streets. So let's get into it now. I also want to let you know, the boys will probably not be in this video. I am so sorry, but August had a whole segment in the last video. So if you really want to see August, uh, Mar maybe Marky, I think Marky was in there too, but August had a whole yo-yo segment that I was not exactly paying attention to, which was really cute, but they're upstairs. It's 
actually 940. Tyrone's playing Call of Duty. Everyone's in the bed. And I am so excited to hang out with y'all. I really wish I could do this live because maybe one day y'all, maybe one day. I already know that is a lot going on. So this may be a long video where you may want to get a snack, a treat, a beverage, a drink, tea, water, because it might be one of those videos. Wow, okay, so we didn't even, I don't even think we saw the Odin's release last week. Did we even see the blends release? I think we did see the blends release. So let me start with Odin's. But before I do, I just want to share that there are gonna be a ton of gift sets that I'm gonna scroll past because I wanna do a whole video on the gift sets. There are so many at Sephora at this time and some of them are good and some of them may not be as good. So I really would like to look at those separately, especially if, because there's two reasons why I feel like someone would want a gift set, either to give someone else or to try a brand that they may not have tried before. And that's why I'm looking at some of the gift sets personally, especially with the Sephora sale coming. So I'm gonna do a separate video on that and I do plan for that as well as my Sephora sale wish list and just some things that I've really enjoyed from uh, Sephora this year. I would like to have a video on both of those in the upcoming week. Okay, so let's start with Odin's Eye and their very first holiday collection. I did purchase this. I have not gotten a shipping a notification at this time, but there was just no way that I was going to pass on this. I really love the red palette. I think that's the Merry Christmas palette. Like one is Merry Christmas, yeah, and the other one, the more cool tone with the blues is Christmas Eve. But I think they're both great palettes. And if they're anything like the other palettes I have from Odin's, they're gonna be perfection. I have not watched any of the reviews. I do know they sent out PR, but I, I haven't watched any of it but my favorite is this red palette. I think it is really beautiful, but the blue one's beautiful too. I will have a review up on this and I'm not sure if it sold out or how well the collection did, but I knew this was gonna be something that I wanted, so. I have to say that, cause I'm not even going, you need to leave these, but you know why? Cause they're not leaving. They've, they're, they're here. And is this the third or fourth baby palette from Natasha Denona? They must do well. That's all I can say. They, they must do well because she continues to release these. I would see this as part of a gift set where someone doesn't wear a lot of makeup. And I mean, three shades is an eye look. You don't have to do five shades or six shades, so this isn't the worst idea. But I think a better idea are the mini ones that are the five pans, but that's just me. Only because it does offer maybe a, a couple of looks, but I mean, the right shade for the transition, the deep shade on the left for the smoke, and then your lid shade. That's really all that many of us are doing I think on a daily basis. And before my work schedule change and I could be to work at like eight instead of 7.20, I was filming. Some of those eye looks wouldn't be my ideal work look, but this one is not because it's work, but because it's easy and it's gonna look good. And I'm not gonna feel crazy when I go into the bathroom at work with that zombie lighting. So, I mean, these are the types of looks that I'm doing now. So I could see why those are uh, successful, but it's a successful no, just because I have the, the gold palette. Let's take a look at Valentino. I don't have anything from Valentino. This is an eye to cheek eyeshadow and blush limited edition uh, set, or I guess they're, you can buy them separate, but these just look like two highlights. They don't really look like a blush. Let me know what you think. I know Rosenbin, she really likes one of the Valentino blushes. It's not this one, it's an older one. I have not gotten anything from this brand. Again, we have a holiday gift set, so I'm, I'm gonna keep that 
for another time. So we're gonna have a Willy Wonka collection from She Glam. I don't have anything by them. And surprise, surprise, we have a Shrek collection with Makeup Revolution. You need to leave. I'm tired. I don't know if y'all are because, see, I'll get to it. I feel like ColourPop started to take a bit of a break. But now in this place we have Makeup Revolution and I I don't know which one I prefer. I prefer none. And now ColourPop, I guess because they were taking a break, now they are coming out with a whole bunch of stuff. <sighs> there are some more pictures of this collection, so let's just go ahead and get it out the way if I can find it. Here it is. I'm tired. I don't like <laughs> This is just too much. There's so much that Makeup Revolution is coming out with at this time. Is it Gingerbread Man in Trek? I guess it is. I was thinking about the gingerbread. I guess it's the same gingerbread man from the run, run as fast as you can. I'm the gingerbread man. This is making me tired. So this is a no. And if you are a Shrek fan, and I like Shrek, but I just can't, I can't with that palette. This is, let me just move on because I don't have a whole lot of time. Someone could knock on the door. So here we have a collectible compact collection from Estee Lauder. What are these compacts? Like, what is this a compact of? Like the skates, what would you put in there? What kind of compact is that? I, I understand the rest of them. And what is inside that little pony? I'm not, I'm not doing it. Oh, let's hear the prices. Oh, this is a pricey, no, but I mean, they're pretty. And I think if you're a collector and this is something you would display in your, what do you call it? China cabinet or something? Not a China cabinet, cause that's for dishes. I don't know, if you were gonna display it on your beauty table or something, I think this would be worth it. I mean, it's like buying the House of Siash cupcakes, which I have some, so I'm not even mad. I'm not mad at all. These just aren't for me. The snowman one is, is pretty. I really, the snowman, the skates. Oh, the white rabbit. That reminds me of like Alice in Wonderland. But this is a no, but uh, you know, that's cool. And I could see that if somebody like got one each year or something like that, it, it may be something to look forward to. But um, I, I'm, I'm not at that status to be able to do that. Here we have the reveal from Martine Cosmetics. This is the Mission Triple X Collection. So there's an 18 shade eyeshadow palette and a three shade highlighter palette. And this became available on the 18th. I did not get this collection. It's, it's not because I don't think it looks great. I think it looks nice. It's really cool for me and I like the greens but I don't see myself wearing those amount of greens or grays or the blacks, the deep shades. I don't see myself wearing that or the highlighter palette. I will say that it's really unique and it's different. And I do like that about this palette, but I am going to just look at reviews and admire it from afar. Yeah, this just isn't like calling me but I can see how it will call a lot of people. I saw these on the Sephora website. I have not tried Fashion Fair Cosmetics and I believe Fashion Fair, was that a prior brand that came back? These Lush Blush Duos though, look really pretty. It says it's a lightweight and buildable cream blush that can be worn alone for a fuss-free look or layered under the powder blush for a pop of color that lasts all day. All right, so there's a cream and a powder. Okay, interesting. Uh, it's probably gonna be an interesting no for me. Okay, don't 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 kill me. I feel like they they're, they're trying to make it look like Tom Ford. Is it just me? That's the first thing I thought with the not even the blush layout, but the fashion fair on the top and the white packaging. All right, I'm being impressed. Speaking of Thomas. Tom has the Shade and Illuminate Contour Duos. Now, I believe a couple of these were already out and I might be wrong, but they're $90 each. So if you're gonna get one of these, you will wait till the Sephora sale. You will not bend the knee to these Tom Fords. You won't, I'm not. This one looks nice with the little peachy highlights. I'm not sure if that 
deep shade is too deep for me, but this will probably be the best. I don't really wear a deep uh, bronzer, contour. I don't contour at all. So there's that. So here's a reveal of the, this is the Willy Wonka collection. I mean, I'm not mad. It's not like they put some random colors in the palette. It's just that, do we need another Willy Wonka collection? The answer is new Scott. So I'm going to pass on this. Again, you're going to see me scrolling through a lot because the gift sets have to be something separate. House of L is restocking on the day this video goes up, October 22nd at noon CST. I'm glad the demand was there for this palette to be restocked because it is a beautiful palette. Don't really use the blue shade much, but all the rest of the shades are so pretty. Like they are so pretty. Um, I'm excited that this is uh, coming back out for people who missed out on House of L because it is really beautiful. Now, I know y'all see the Scooby-Doo uh, collection. I'm definitely gonna get to that. Notoriously Morbid, let's talk about them all at once. Here are some Morbid mattes, which are nice matte lipsticks. And I think the colors are really different. They're not your traditional ones, but I do want to show you that Notoriously Morbid is sneak peeking another collection called the Boohoo Collection. And whatever's in this collection, I am going to be getting. And I will have my video up before October 28th because that's when the collection releases. Love this artwork, like hands down, it's so good. So I cannot wait to see what that palette is going to look like. Let's talk about ColourPop all at once if there's more than one thing. This is the Not A Box Of Chocolates collection. Um, I mean, I haven't purchased anything from ColourPop this year and this is not really grabbing me. Actually, none of their new releases are grabbing me. They have a restock for the Avatar collection and I wasn't interested in that. The ship has sailed a little bit between ColourPop and I. But speaking of ColourPop, I do like this palette. I'm not sure of the name. Oh, it's CP30 and it's a golden palette. I'm not purchasing this. This is nothing that I, I need. I have all of these shades. If I did purchase it, it would just be to go with my child palette or the, uh, what's the other one that I have? The child, oh, the Mandalorian. And I didn't get the Darth Vader one, so I don't have them all. I am just gonna try to admire this from afar, but I think that one's a really cute palette. Let's look at the Scooby-Doo collection. So this is the first palette that I saw for the Scooby-Doo collection, and it's very blue heavy, so I, I am gonna say no to this. However, this reminded me a little bit of the Clarity Bloom palette, not exactly, but I'm just thinking of color stories, and I definitely have some indie singles that could be close. But if this is your color story, I think you're gonna really enjoy this palette. This is a really pretty palette. And even though Glam Light sometimes comes out with packaging and food and things I don't really care for, I, I think they pretty much hit it when it comes to like themes. I think that's, that's their thing. I like seeing them branch out from the food. So this is the other palette. This is the Roro Raggy eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I gotta see what the other one is. But this one's very pretty as well. I'm not completely decided for or against, but the swatches make me feel like, yes, this is gorgeous. So this is releasing on October 22nd as well. And these palettes that I showed you, they're $20 each, which is not bad. For those who love Melt and missed out on the Radioactive palette, this palette is available at Sephora and one of my friends tagged me on this and I was so shocked. But if this was a palette that you were interested in and you don't have a bunch of rainbow palettes or you just really enjoy rainbow palettes, I would try to grab this one. I can't speak to the quality. I can't speak to the blendability or anything about this palette, but I know it's up and some people did want it. So I just wanted to mention that. Unearthly Cosmetics is restocking the low light. 
highlighter palette, which is great. There are these six big, beautiful eyeshadows in these square pans and they are beautiful, beautiful highlighters. So if that was something you missed out on and you were interested, it is back. It's $48. We talked about the Kylie Batman collection, so I'm gonna move on. Here we have Manny MUA, who is uh, releasing some shades and, and demoing some things from the next release. I'm just gonna wait till I see it all. So we do have some new brushes from BK Beauty. This is the BK Beauty Core Line Extension 9-piece set. Uh, this is $185. I do like my BK Beauty brushes, but I do not need any more. Viseart has come out with two more palettes. I was thinking about trying these out. So these are the Petite Pro London Etoile and the Petite Pro San Francisco Etoile. And I love this uh, San Francisco with the blue just because it's blue with all like neutrals. And I love that. It's like a pop where I could just put a little bit on the inner corner or on the lower lash line. And I think it's gonna look really pretty. I like the London Etoile palette as well. I'm not sure about these as of yet, but I think they're pretty. These palettes are $30 each. Looks like Dior has added some more shades to their Dior Attic Lip Maximizers. I don't think they're out yet, so we're gonna keep on going. So this is all that I have for my girl Makeup Release Radar. However, there was something I had to talk to y'all about. Hold on. The Hip Dot Cup of Noodles. Now, I don't know if this is a different brand or a different strand. All I know is I don't need it. I don't need a sequel. I don't need a PR box. I don't need four free masks. I need for this collection to leave. I really, really do. I think this is ridiculous. And as someone who ate cup of noodles and oodles of noodles every day, like as a kid, when I was at my grandmother's house, this isn't bringing up those fond memories. This is just, not the shape of the cup on the palette. <laughs> it's making me tired. So, what is this? What is this? Oh, a Play-Doh palette. Okay. I don't know what, what's going on with Hip Dot, so I, I have to move on. She don't want my love. I guess I gotta move on. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, hmm. What predicaments? What is this? Okay, Le can we, can we talk about the new Pat McGrath inspo? So I don't know if this is all the rage, this Taylor Swift situation. Let's watch this. It's all things I got to talk to y'all about. Here we go. coming soon hashtag continue to be you know loving mama pat not the biggest taylor swift fan i mean i know some songs but i like that like those clips had an eeriness to them where i'm like ooh, what's that so i guess she released the album i don't know let me know if you know i gotta look more into it I had to show y'all that okay who is this I am going to move on and see if we have anything else that we need to talk about. I'm looking at Trend Mood. Here we have some Lancome lipsticks with Bare Brick. Ooh, I like this embossing. Don't know anything about Bare Brick. We do have this release from the sister brand of Oma Beauty. This is Uma by Sharon C. Or is it Sharon? I'm not sure. This looks cute. I'm not gonna get anything from uh, this release, but it does look cute. Let's just check out Chic Profile Official to see 
if there's anything on her site she's demoing some things but i don't really see anything new i did want to mention that beautylish has their gift card event uh, sale going on I, I don't know if it's really a sale but you know if you spend a certain amount of money you can get a gift card i think it's for every 100 dollars you get $20 in a gift card. I've never participated in this sale, so I don't have any recommendations. Let me know if you have shopped this or were thinking about it, or if you have in the past and now you're not. I, it's hard for me to see, like, are there sales going on? I feel like there are, but it, the sales aren't on anything that I want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to you know, get my Sephora cart together. And again, I'll have a video up for that um, as, soon as, as soon as I can. So I, I think that's it. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. I did purchase that Viseart palette, not those two small ones, but the bigger one, I have that here. I still have not been able to try my Huda Beauty palette. I do have the Chanel quad and the highlighter here. I have the Dior blush and one of the quints here, which I'm not sure about that quint anymore, but I, I do have those here. I am waiting for Notoriously Morbid and the, the Boohoo collection. I am really excited to see what that looks like. Oh, you know what I did not talk about? I did not talk about the Minka palette from Adept Cosmetics because that is also launching. So let's look at the reel for that because let me move over. I really would have been mad if I did not mention that palette, but I, I know I have mentioned it several times prior because we've been waiting for it. The swatches look amazing. I am going to purchase this palette tomorrow or today uh, as you're watching this video. The two mattes, so I, I do wish that they were more neutral, but I can always pull in like what I want to work with this palette or to, to use with this palette, not even to work with it because <clears throat> these shimmers look so beautiful. And if they're like the shimmers that I, I already have from, from Adept, this is gonna be great. So I'm excited to purchase this palette as well. And I think she's gonna have another palette coming out after that. Not right away, but I think she has another palette coming. I, now I do think that's it. I hope that's it. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. And at this point, I am waiting for the Sephora sale on Friday to purchase any like mainstream makeup. And I am gonna try to hold out uh, for Black Friday for any of the indie singles and things like that that I would like to have. Let me know what you think about all of these releases. Let me know what you're getting. What are you saying yes to? What are you passing on? I really would love to know and we can continue the conversation so that's it so thank y'all for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me i do hope this was therapy for you because it always is for me until i see you again make sure you are being gentle with yourself talk to yourself nice stay safe and i will see y'all in the next one bye Go!